Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. Thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, we are going to see how to manage user groups and organization units in Active Directory. This lab will provide you hands on experience with Microsoft Active Directory by creating and managing users' accounts, groups, and organization units. So let's get started. Once you log in into your Active Directory, you go to Tools and you go to Users and Computer right there. So once you are there, you have to, on the console tree, we're going to right click on the domain where we want to create our OU. So right here, we're going to right click and we're going to click on new, then organization units. So let's call these organization units our sales department. So we have this protect container for accidental delete deletion so this actually help us not just for anyone to delete our organization unit it's going to require like a different kind of uh, process so we click on ok so that is the task one we already create our organization unit in the previous video we have uh, we have created our sales marketing but today we're going to create our sales department so on the task two that you're going to do is right click on the OU that you created. So which is this one, right click and click on new and we're going to create a user. So we're going to fill up the necessary information. So I'm going to call this Ken. The last name is going to be Cole. Then I will give him, uh, give it a login name, K Cole. Next and supply the password. So user must change password at nest logon. I normally, let's leave it that way. Doesn't matter. All right. Oh, what's going on? So that's the reason why I want us to always, always, <laughs> type the password that we really want to use so that we don't keep making the same mistake. So right now we created uh, the user inside this organization unit. So in that tax three, we're going to create a group and add the user. So how we're going to do it is that we're going to right click on the organization unit and create group. So we're going to say new group. And what we wanted to call these is sales team. You know, we have sales department and it's going to, so in the real world, it's going to be anything that you really wanted to do. So in the last video, we, we explained the group type whereby the security actually is for security uh, permission over folder files in your organization and distribution is going to be for email only. So, Let's click on OK and so I'll create system because already exists. OK, let's call it S. OK, so now we're going to double click on the newly created group and go to members tab. So this is the group. We double click on it. We go to member. So we're going to add can call. To the list. So once we do that, we click apply and OK. So now on the task four, let's set up a permission. So let's go ahead and create some. Um, let's go here. And I'm going to go to my PC and I, I will create a folder call. Let me call it sales docs. So brilliant. So I will right click on it 
I will go to properties. Now I want to go to security tab. Uh, this I can expand this one, but it's fine. So what I wanted to do is that I want to click on edit and I'm going to add the sales team. Remember, I have to be very careful with this name so that I don't <laughs> go ahead and add the other one that I've created. So I go back here and I'm going to click on check name and that's it. So now I'm going to click on read and execute only. So I'm going to uncheck all of this and go for read and execute. So yeah, I think it actually give you all this when you read and execute. So we're going to click on apply and we're going to click on OK. So the idea is just for you to walk yourself through and see what is actually happening here, because once the moment you started getting familiar with all of this, then you're on your way to success. So we click on OK. Now, this is actually how we can set permission on these uh, docs. So let's do something uh, because now uh, that is how we can actually manage the user. We create groups and we create organization unit. Let's do something now. Let's go ahead and yeah, I think I wanted to go for sharing. Okay, you see, we only have the sales team that can see this documentation and also Peter, which is actually the owner. So that will be the end of our lab today. If you are having any difficulties in this lab, I'm going to put that information down on the underneath this video so that you can just have something to guide you along and to give you the sense of doing something in your own lab today. With that being said, if you have any question, please kindly put it down in the comment section. I really appreciate you. And I will see you in the other side. Please kindly like, subscribe, and share your thoughts about this video if you like it. Have a nice one. Bye-bye for now.